Hey guys, welcome to Jury Rig Garage. We're going to be working on uh, the Camaro, just a bunch of stuff today actually. So what we're going to be doing is working on our adapter plate for the uh, engine here, or the supercharger. Uh, what we got here is this uh, three inch exhaust piping that we just cut, just cut a round off um, that we're going to be welding on here, just like that. We have a professional welder with us today because I don't feel confident doing it myself. I mean, I could do it, but it'll look really ugly and probably be just bad and we'll waste all our blanks. I'll but spray it with carbon painter and we'll have lots of vacuum leaks. Yeah, we just, you know what we could do? We don't even need you. We'll just put some JB, JB weld. weld. Yeah, JB weld on it. Like all the other cars. <laughs> <laughs> call it a day. Yep. So uh, we're going to be working on this. Uh, Tristan is going to be working on some other odds and ends. He's going to be probably wiring up the spark plugs. We're just going to be using uh, the full length. We're not going to be cutting them or anything like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Do the, do the thing. Do some actual work on your car instead of me and Dan. What are you doing? Get your PPE on. I don't even know where glasses are. Where are my gloves at? You don't need gloves. I do. That's PPE. Stop being a pussy. The gloves no, right I, there. No. Those gloves will be too big for you. You got them tiny hanging. That's gonna hands. that's gonna protect you. <laughs> you haven't worked on your car in like over yeah, a month. It's just been Davis and then me. Like, it's hello. been me for like three weeks yeah, and then I you know. helped last like, week. I finally, you started coming back and helping. Yeah. Done by. Oh, now. you can swap it. Wow, good job, Dewalt. That's not Tristan. Really that's just, a good idea, just Dewalt. Dewalt. L literally every angle grinder with a handle. No, just Dewalt does this. <laughs> no, just Dewalt. <laughs> Only Dewalt. <laughs> Need to smooth that one out. <laughs> Holy shit. No, that's it. We need to cut a hole in the firewall for the wires. Remember that? <laughs> what you doing? Uh, probably doing something with the math kit. That's a good idea. So why did that need new tires? I never heard the story. <clears throat> so, Vince got new tires for his uh, Trans Am uh, today. He got some new Nittos. We always run our Nittos here. Um, so, basically what had happened is he was uh, having some fun with his coworker on the way home. Uh -oh. And they were doing some, you know, trips in Mexico. Uh-huh. And uh, they were coming up to this, this intersection and uh, they were going to go through it and then it turned red. And then a big semi truck started coming right through. So him and his coworker had to slam on their brakes. And for those who don't know, Vince doesn't have ABS in his car. It's been broken since he's oh, gotten shit. it. So it locked the so it up. So it locked it up. He's going, his coworker's right next to it. He comes sideways. He's actually going sideways. Rear's completely locked. And uh, he's having to hold on his brakes. Otherwise, if he lets go, he's going to slam into his coworker. Uh -huh. And uh, his coworker gets enough speed to clear it. And then Vince is able to let go and then correct it. But he locked it up so bad, you could actually see a flat spot on both sides, of uh, both tires, a uh, just complete flat spot. Oh, no. Tore out all the tread. So he, oh he was planning on taking the Trans Am and doing like a big burnout to like even out the whole thing. But it was it was like 10% tread left, maybe. Oh my god, so, that's crazy. So he had to go and spend the money on it, but you know, Nitto saved him. I mean, they were good tires and he was able I didn't to, hear you know. that, shit, that's crazy. Yeah, so he got his new tires today. Oh uh, god. Yeah, new. That's insane. Nitto NT triple five G2s. Isn't that hot? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Bungee, the, we got the we actually not even cord. We actually don't even really need this bungee cord, but when it gets full of like a gallon of fluid, yeah, I mean, be, we could also good. just get some aluminum blanks that'll go down and secure it right That there. is true. You can actually get like one inch strips uh, at, uh, what is it, Park Rose? And yeah. that's what uh, my we have intercooler the belts are. Pump down here, Tristan put butt connectors on it so it'll be easy just to wire in and out. Got the line to the tank and all he needs to do is run a line up to the front, kind of towards the driver's area. Uh, this line right here, and uh, there's already holes that the previous owner drilled to put the wide band O2 in. I think we're gonna uh, drill a different one though. Yeah, but it'll, it's really easy. And to it's get just to. in the same spot though, which is convenient. I'm gonna have to look at the wiring diagram again. 
though and look at like what all those go to. Yeah. I think I need to buy a relay. You're saying you want to get um, uh, stuff for the battery box? I mean, we have steel we can use. So, well, so like, it usually, it should be one, it'll be really easy if it's one blank, but I can show you what I mean. Do you just want to, I mean, we have that quarter inch steel we didn't use. I don't think that that will do it, but it'll look like this. You know, this will be the battery, and then these will be, oops, that, that's, shit, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. These will be basically be our measurements, and this will be where the battery sits down. These will be bent. They'll be able to be bent up to then be welded and form a solid box. Except it won't be really a box, it'll be a tray. So these these will only be like an inch long on each side, because that's all it really needs to hold the battery in. Yeah. And then we can uh, weld some studs that go straight up that can then be like um, tied together so the battery can't move out either. Yep. Because I was thinking today, if the car ever rolled, then that would be like a 30 pound fucking missile yeah. in the in the car. And so we should have it strapped down. Yeah, well, I mean, what you could do, as I see it, is you can get the steel, and I don't know if you want to weld or do whatever, but like basically have one on this side, have one on that side to kind of hold it there. I guess you'd probably want them in all four corners. And then what you could do is you can drill a hole and then get a strap around it, just like a just a nylon strap. A lot of battery trays do that, or they have, you know, like the two studs that come up. Yeah, my so, Mustang does that. And then just like, yeah, yours does do that. I don't know how we would get the battery tray to sit there. I I haven't thought about bolts, but well, yeah, we make, could. What you do is you make a battery tray kind of like a like a tray that you just set the battery in. That's right? basically, yeah. Up and around? Yep. Drill two holes in the actual battery tray itself, and then just self-tapping screws through it. I'm not sure if the if the uh, the battery would would sit perfectly in there, though, we all, what we could do is we could just weld two little brackets that come out and just bolt those right here on either side, here and here, with self-tapping bolts. I don't know if I'd do it there and there. If it, like if it's gonna sit that direction. We need but to buy some four gauge wire or two gauge. Yeah, I don't know what kind of gauge four, wire we need. Four gauge should be the right one. And I could make the ground somewhere around here. I mean, you got frame rail right under this metal. Yeah. But yeah, so, shouldn't cool. be too hard. So, yeah. if you're gonna work on the meth lines, I'm gonna go ahead and probably start on the, uh, the just getting the spark plug wires all okay. finished. So we just have that all the way. We also need to update our checklist because I feel like we've done a lot of stuff that we need to check off. Have we? Well, I mean, we got, the, we got the whole engine on the subframe. That's true, we didn't do that. All right, I'm gonna go check on that. I'm also gonna check on my bins too. Whichever one is uh, the side that you're planning on uh, using for the side that's That going does down look a lot better welding, though. Go ahead and uh, clean up this edge as well. All the way. I'm gonna clean the yeah. whole edge on both sides just to be careful on it. That is looking a lot better. Go ahead and do a do a weld prep. And then um, we'll do it on the plate that's already on there as kind of a test and I mean we can ultimately use it if it's good. I mean yeah. you're gonna be welding it and I trust you. Yeah I just want to run a couple of test feeds on the piece or whatever just because new welder I've never used that. We can use that stuff. messed up piece of steel over there. Yeah. So do you think that it'd be possible to add like a, a, a connector onto this so that more of this hose could continue down or do you think it's gotta be one piece? I think it needs to be one piece. It's it's That's a hard be, line intentionally. That's gonna be inconvenient. Yeah. So that this won't work then. Um, well, so it's turning, or it's looking like we're gonna need new hard line for the methanol kit. Uh, solid. This was already installed on someone's car, so uh, they cut it to fit, and it's not gonna fit our application. So we might run to Park Rose and see what we can get. We could buy the aluminum. Yeah, we can buy the aluminum blanks and make this so it's not so ghetto. We can look for steel. Yeah, we can look for steel. We can just buy just a big piece mm -hmm. of like really thin, like eighth inch steel. Yeah, eighth inch. Or quarter inch would be better, but... Oh, I need something that's in there. They do? Yeah. I was going to start working on the spark plugs. Just okay. getting them done. You want to go to Park Rose mm -hmm. right now? Yeah, might as well. Alright, so Tristan and I are going to head to the uh, hardware store to pick up some stuff. Vince and Austin are going to stay here, and they're going to work on getting the adapter all figured out. They're going to grind it down and then attempt to weld it. So I'm going to leave the camera with them so they can do that progress because no one really wants to see us go to the hardware store. Yeah, yeah so. I mean, if we we're more famous, they would. You'd be like, oh, oh they picked up a bolt. Uh, At the hardware store? 
All right, so uh, Tris and I are gonna head to the hardware store and uh, Vince and Austin will update you once they're made some more progress. All right, guys, we have the finished product of the little piece of pipe that was very lopsidedly grinded. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's uh, not the greatest, but it'll work. And we polished the inside, I deburred all of it, so we're gonna try and do a couple test passes with the welder and then we'll show you what goes on after that. Alright guys so we got our uh, test weld done we made the little budget welder work actually came out not terrible for a little budget welder it's a little overpowered for thin metal though. Yeah lowest settings lowest settings it still wants to murder it. Yeah just gotta kind of feather it with technique and keep it from blowing holes in the thin stuff. But yeah, looks like we can make this work. It'll seal, that's for sure. Yep. But yeah, you can see it's trying to burn the inside of the tube. Yeah, so I'll have to weld it and then just clean it up a little bit. But yeah, guys, we're gonna move on from here, but so far so good. All right guys, so it's gonna be dark because I've got you behind a welding mask so you can actually see when it welds. We're actually gonna weld up the actual input plate right now, so. I know it's a little weird, but just hold on. All right. left-handed of course just so that the slag doesn't kind of get because it kind of fucks with it right. water set to utterly annihilate all right part one Go ahead and turn that, actually. Just go ahead and just... It's kind of stuck. Crack loose. Because I'm going to bring it from this left-hand side over to the right-hand side. Heat. <laughs> I got pliers so we can hold it up as well. Yeah, boys. He's laying dimes. Hey. Yeah, it actually came out really well. Yeah. Just clean it up and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and wire roll the thing and yep. inside looks fine. There was a couple spots where it was getting kind of tricky because obviously this cut was a little bit wonky. Yeah. So I was kind of filling some holes as I went. It was not a straight cut so like we had to do a little extra work with the welding but yeah, it's all we good. done. Didn't have a problem. Just went ahead and filled those holes and continued on my merry way. Nice welds all the way around. Yeah. Gotta get the slag off of that so you can actually see the actual welds. Alright okay, guys, yeah. we're gonna clean this up and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. So uh, Tristan and I just got back. Uh, I'm not exactly sure all Vince showed, but Austin did a great job welding this up. Uh, it works really great on there. We're still gonna need a trim up uh, spot right here because it's coming in contact with the thermostat area. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these studs out. We have new bolts that'll just go in there and secure it down. And uh, this is almost ready. It still needs to be cleaned up. Vince is gonna take it home and clean it up. 
and uh, then we can attach the Cobra head intake onto it. It's three inch to three inch, and uh, it's gonna work great so far. Looks awesome.